Assalamu alaikum family. Welcome back once again. As usual, we like to keep positive vibe all the time. Now, I came across this video and I kept on asking myself because I saw a whole lot of comments. It's like <laughs> majority <laughs> or let me say some are saying oh then you don't want to go to Jenna I mean I kept on reading such comments and I'm like why this is a person I don't know how to say whether she or he that maybe perhaps he is dressed or say she I think definitely she's answering to maybe a question by putting up this caption so let's ask ourselves when did she do this is it before she became a muslim or after he was a muslim then he decided to do this that's the first question we should ask ourselves and if really he did this then later converted into the dean are we really the ones to judge him and first of all what is the deadliest or the the most worst sin in islam is it this one definitely we all know it's shrek but even when it comes to shrek allah has given us conditions and choice if you repent sincerely and comes back to me i forgive you so if someone did this and then later realized and became a muslim all he all he needs to know is what he did is definitely wrong islam don't encourage this for sure but he has done it already so are you saying that then definitely he's not going to go to Jannah and I mean people are already passing judgment. Is judgment really for us to pass? We should not forget it's not about how you started but about how you will end up. If truly he feels some remorse within him that oh I've realized what I did was wrong because no non-Muslim who do this will accept that he has done something wrong they see it to be something normal something good that's why they do it so after doing this if the person is able to feel some remorse if the person is going good is able to get some understanding from the dean that what he has done is wrong you and i don't know if he has already asked for forgiveness from allah he is following the religion truly from his heart sincerely and you are already passing judgment is that really for us are we scholars let's leave that judgment for allah alone let's be careful of the things we say to others the fact that the religion don't accept it doesn't mean you should pass judgment on the person and tell them oh you are not going to go to Jannah. Come on, Jannah is not for us. None of us deserves Jannah. It's only by the mercy of Allah. We should know this. The deeds that we are doing, following our heart desire here and there, is this what we are going to achieve Jannah? It's only by the mercy of Allah and the little that we have tried. That's why we should always try to do something good. So based on that goodness and the mercy of Allah, we all get to go to Jannah. So please, let's, I mean, encourage people, advise them the proper way to feel that what he has done is basically wrong. And stay on the right path and die as a true Muslim. That's what is important. He has done it already. What do you expect him to do? To rechange himself or what? So let's be a little understanding when it comes to matters 
concerning the deen i'm just trying to be positive guys because allah said we shouldn't despise in his mercy let's have hope in allah that if he has repented truly he's going to forgive him assalamu alaikum guys